Have you ever guys seen a Filipina in her natural habitat? Like I did, but this is not what this video about. We found the Filipina in her totally uncomfortable My natural hands are habitat. Frozen. Your hands it are hurts. frozen. Yeah. Does it hurt? Yeah. So much? Yeah. Oh yeah. Is it better here or in the Philippines? Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Philippines is better than Czech Republic because of cold. Gwen went to Europe for better life, but she's suffering a lot on her hands. <laughs> Where is your hands? It's painful. It's frozen. Up. It needs to be amputated, so it will not be painful. Oh, no, you will cut please. it later. Like it's being cut in now. <laughs> Is it helping? <laughs> Hello everyone. So another video, another interesting topic that I would like to share. So for those who are new here, by the way, my name is Gwen and I'm currently living in the Czech Republic. I can talk for my mouth is frozen. The idea about making this video was actually Gwen and she also decided to do that outside where it's very cold for Gwen <laughs> and literally you really have hard time speaking and pronouncing correctly for me not but Gwen has troubles with pronunciation so there are more topics to discuss but those topics will be discussed once we will return inside into our warm place people thinking Gwen is actually not wearing any makeup and those red spots on her cheeks are actually cause of coldness <laughs> if you are facing the cold your cheeks will become red like that and your nose as well for today's video I would like to share about the things that I don't like here in the Czech Republic but for those who are new here, I would like to share a little bit story about me. I am a Filipina. I, I came from the Philippines and I've been living here in the Czech Republic for one year already. I moved out because of my husband and I am working as a teacher, exploring my life here in the Czech Republic and making videos about my life. To help Gwen <coughs> with suffering of coldness going home, we helped her and Gwen currently has her new hat and gloves, <laughs> so it's warm. Yeah. Is it good and is it comfortable? Yeah. Gwen says it doesn't fit to her but it really fits. Mm -hmm. We just arrived home. As what Kuba mentioned earlier that we will finish the talking here at home because earlier I was struggling a lot because of the cold weather and it was really hard for me to talk. <laughs> I feel like I was like a robot talking. I cannot even open my mouth properly. So I guess this is a very good idea. Talking here inside the house is more comfortable than, than just outside. I've been living here for over a year now and I know I'm still new here. I already made impressions while living here and there are the things that i like there are the things that i don't like so disclaimer um these things are based on my own opinion and based on my own experiences so don't take it personally number one is the language barrier it's not that i don't like the language czech language is very unique for me it's so impressive because it's one of the most difficult language in the world which is very understandable like just listening to people i sometimes think could they understand each other because all i can hear is just um sha, 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 like those things and it's so funny for me because i cannot even hear a word but just those pronunciation things and also knowing based on my experiences about um, not speaking czech i experienced um being screamed at people especially in the stores when I pay something and they wanted to talk to me, but I just say that I don't really speak Czech, so I don't understand what you're talking about. And they scream at me for not speaking Czech. So I was like, why are you screaming at me when 
I don't speak Czech, you know, it, I'm a foreigner and it's not my fault. So, you know, there are people, um, I already experienced it four times, that people were mad at me, they were upset of, of me for not talking, for not speaking Czech. But I guess uh, that's really a bad behavior for them because knowing I'm not a Czech, I'm a foreigner, I don't speak Czech, and knowing that Czech language is very difficult so they could just understand um, other people that they don't speak Czech rather than just screaming or rather just rather than just being upset for for them not being able to speak Czech because sometimes they're telling foreigners that it's your fault for coming here in your country and doesn't know how to speak Czech but does those crazy people are just having that kind of mindset majority of the people here are very nice though they are very preserved they are not that friendly but they're still very nice to you they greet you and they try to talk to you even if you're a stranger but still for me they're very nice and there are only few people who are very close-minded about foreigners the second thing that i don't like here is the culture of drinking i mean alcohol drinking or beer drinking we have a huge difference between the philippines and also the czech republic so since i came from a country where alcohol is really not a thing here in czechia beer is considered as liquid bread <laughs> they call it beer is considered as a liquid bread and they can just drink it any time they want and it's like water for them already if there are birthdays if there are like wedding or any kind of celebration the first thing that we prepare are foods but here it was opposite because the first the most important thing they have during celebration is beer and also alcohol so another thing that i don't like here is the looks of people czech people or czech are not really smiling like they are not smiling they're just having a poker face all the time but that's really how they are but that doesn't mean that they are unfriendly or they're upset or they're mad but that's just how they look like so that is the thing that i don't like um i know that's already part of the culture but i i came from a country where people are smiling all the time even the strangers so the first time I came here, it was a big culture shock for me and I was very worried like seeing people looking at me with a poker face because I thought they're mad at me and I was feeling very conservative about how I look because they just don't smile at me. They're just like, and they're just having poker face. This is just how the way they are next is lack of compassion about homeless people so i asked my students um i gave them a moral dilemma lesson that time and i asked them like if you could see a homeless man stealing a loaf of bread in the store what will you do he looks very hungry he looks very poor and what will you do there are more than 200 students with me that time and what was surprising for me the ans their answer was I don't care i don't give a fuck it's their fault while, while they're hungry and i will report this person why are they stealing like that but i wasn't able to hear an answer of helping them like none of them answered that and the most horrible thing i've heard about them that it's their fault why they're homeless so they deserve to be hungry and I would say that because of those answers, um, I concluded that there are people here who are struggling with emotional intelligence. They're struggling a lot with empathy. They're struggling a lot to have this kind heart to other people. Because whenever I can see homeless people, I really feel shattered. I feel very, very like heartbroken seeing them getting hungry, just seeing them like feeling cold outside and not having proper clothes, proper food to eat. We really can't we really can't blame or we really can't judge. 
because um, we really don't know their story. So maybe a little kind, uh, a little kindness could make the world be better rather than just being close-minded and just blaming them for what happened to them. And imagine if it will happen to us, we cannot imagine if we will experience the same as what they experienced because it's the bad decision that made them to be like that. But still, we all make bad decisions and sometimes there are bad decisions that turn out with a good um, with a good results and there are times, times with a bad decisions with bad results. So, it's just, it happened to them and I just feel sorry for them. So, even if a little kindness that we can share to other people so it will be better. We can help them, we can just give them a piece of bread, just one loaf of bread that's more than enough. So another thing that I don't like is complaining. So Czech have this kind of attitude where they complain a lot even if they have already like a lot, like maybe they already have everything in their life. People in the Philippines are experiencing about hard things in life that our houses are destroyed every month because of typhoons, but still we are having a smile in our faces and we are still happy that we're still alive and we're not complaining about anything. But people here, teachers told me, people here are complaining about all things, small and big things. They have cars, they have houses, they have money, they have savings, they can eat three times a day, but they're still complaining about anything. But because they are not satisfied, they're not happy. So this is the thing that I don't like here. Um, I wish people could realize how lucky they are. I wish people here could realize that they're living a good life compared in living in the Philippines. Um, maybe they could realize something that they are lucky enough if they could experience the same thing that they experience as we have in the Philippines. Uh, people who are struggling there to eat, people are struggling there to go to the hospital because we don't have money to afford for paying bills. So some people are just dying inside their house because they cannot afford going to the hospital. So this is the thing that is um, also that I don't like about Czech Republic or Czech, Czech people that they're complaining all the time. But I don't say that there are bad people, it's just that we all have different kinds of um, negativities. Like, we are all different, um, nationalities are different, but this is also the thing that I would wish for. Check people that they could learn something or they could have realized something that they are very lucky compared to other people. The next thing that I don't like here is that the rules are very strict. I mean... <laughs> I live in the Philippines, wherein it is a democratic country, so we can do anything we want. We can even drive without a license. We don't really have this kind of driving schools. Maybe there are, but it's not required for each one of us. And there are minors who are still who are who can also drive in the villages areas, especially motorbikes. So what I don't like here, it is a very strict country where yeah, it is very advantage for each one of us because we 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 are very disciplined for those things. I also learn discipline when I came here but th there are things that I wish that it is the same as in the Philippines I'm still doing my best to adjust and I'm still doing my best to adapt from that culture or from that rule especially crossing the street waiting for the green light because in the Philippines we can just we don't need to use the traffic light traffic lights are not everywhere and there are traffic lights maybe but people are not following it so that's the thing that I don't really like before and up until now, but I'm still trying my best to adapt from it. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you're not upset of me. I hope you're not mad at me for sharing these things, but these are just based on my, again, these are based on my observations and these are my opinions. So um, maybe it would be interesting for other people and it would be not be interesting for other for some as well so I just wanted to share the things that are hard for me to adapt up until now thank you so much for watching our videos and for always supporting our YouTube channel see you again next time bye